Hey guys, Monday the 19th of June and I'm back with my daily cards. Last night I was um, shuffling my tarot of AE weight for a change and I just happened to be, you know, pulling cards. This is the back of this deck. I love the backs of these cards. I think these are my favourite backs. Crackleback, they were known as. As far as I know, this is the original deck. Um, and I know it's or I've heard it's difficult now to get an English version of this deck the Tarot of AE Weight um, so I'm glad I never got rid of this um, but yeah I believe this is the, the original the original one a lot of people say the, the blue and white roses and lilies backs that that deck is the original but I've heard people say that this one is so I don't know but anyway I love it so the cards I've pulled are the Five of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Now, clearly the Five of Wands is people arguing. Um, I always say, if you think of, if you think of these five with their sticks fighting, and then you have the Five of Swords where they were fighting with swords, obviously. So. Fighting with sticks is only kind of minor arguments. It's kind of arguments over your passions. It could be that you're all fighting, competing for the same job. That kind of thing. Sorry, I thought I heard a noise. But this is minor arguments, okay? Not like the, the Five of Swords, which is more serious. Um, bullying and that kind of thing. But here we have the Four of Pentacles, which can often be seen as... You know, you have money, but you're not willing to share. I've often pulled it for someone. I pulled it once for someone who I knew um, had an issue with spending too much. So I said, look, you need to you need to hold tight to your money. You need to stop spending. Um, so it could be read either way. But in this case, I feel like it's that there's an argument that's gone on. And you need to let it go. You need to loosen the grip and let go of whatever arguments happen, happened. Because it's not major. It was something minor. But it's still kind of niggling away at you. And you need to just let it go. And funnily enough, uh, you know me, I often look at the next few cards underneath the deck. And we have the devil and temperance. So... Letting it go is going to help you to break these chains and, and kind of let go of this spell that's been cast on you with relation to whatever it is that you're holding tight to, you know. I would often say too, right, the five of ones need not necessarily be arguments with other people. It could be you arguing in your own mind. It could be that you're stopping yourself from moving forward with something. Maybe you have ideas for a business or for a... For anything that you're too afraid kind of to to move forward with but you might need to let go of those internal arguments that you're having with yourself right and let go of these chains that are holding you back and dip your toe in the water and take the chance with whatever it is that you want to do so it might be that you need to let go of arguments with other people for the sake of being held back and get that balance in your own life again or it could be that you're arguing with yourself am i holding these I'm not. Uh, no, I'm not or it could be that you're arguing with yourself and you need to let go of it because you're only holding yourself back from doing what you want to do and you need to get on with it dip your toe in the water and get some balance in your life okay so there's two kind of uh things that were coming through there for me so that's today's reading guys hope it made sense to someone please do leave likes and comments let me know what you think let me know if it makes sense to you or if you know anyone who could do with this message today please do share it with them thanks a million guys bye